what determines the common tangents to two circles is actually the position of the two circles. In what all ways can the two circles be positioned, which is going to determine the number of common tangents between them? Let's find out. Case 1, if I have two circles, one having center as C1 and radius as A1, other having center as C2 and radius as A2, and if I say that the distance between the centers is strictly greater than the sum of the radii. In this case, the two circles do not intersect each other at all. And what is the scenario which is going to be created in this situation? It will be this scenario. How many common tangents can you see in here when the circles are positioned like this? Look over here, there are two direct tangents and there are two transverse tangents. That means you have two real distinct direct tangents and you have two real distinct transverse tangents which makes the number of common tangents to these two circles as 4. Now, after this case, let's talk about another case. That means now we are going to change the positions of the two circles. Case 2. Suppose I am saying that the distance between the two centers is exactly equal to the sum of the radii. In this case, what happens is the two circles intersect externally at a point. Why? You can check that out. We have such a situation. And in this case, how many common tangents you have? One, two, these are the two direct tangents. And you have just one transverse tangent or I can say there are two real coincident transverse tangents. That means distinct there is only one and there are two distinct real direct tangents which makes the total number of common tangents in this case to be three. Moving ahead to another way in which these circles can be positioned. That is going to bring me to case three. Case three says if the distance between the two centers is less than the sum of the radii, well in this case, the two circles intersect each other at two points. Yes, there is a full-fledged intersection. And what is the scenario being created? It is this. So in here, we have with us two distinct real direct tangents and there is absolutely no transverse tangent. So I have two distinct real direct tangents and I can say two imaginary transverse tangents. That means no real transverse tangent, which makes the total number of common tangents to be two. Understood? Moving on. To the next case. Yes, there are other ways in which these circles can be positioned. Case 4. When the distance between the two circles is equal to the difference in the radii, in this particular case what happens is the two circles intersect internally at a point. What do I mean by intersecting internally at a point? Watch out for yourself. I mean this. In this scenario, you actually land up to having two coincident real tangents and two imaginary tangents, which creates just one distinct tangent. So total number of common tangents is just one. And the very last case that gets created in this particular scenario is case 
case number 5 when you say that the distance between the centers is less than the difference in the radii in this case two circles do not intersect and one lies within the other yes you have one lying within the other and both of them are not intersecting the scenario created is this in this case obviously there is no transverse no direct and hence no common tangent clear now that we have understood what actually are the several positions based upon the distance between the centers and the radii relationship let's check out this particular question how many common tangents can be drawn to the following circles x squared plus y squared equals 6x and x squared plus y squared plus 6x plus 2y plus 1 equals 0 if you focus upon this circle and focus upon this circle as well you are going to see I can compare it with the equations x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0 and over here if I might tell you minus g comma minus f which gives me the center that happens to be 3 comma 0 and over here minus g comma minus f when I compare I get minus 3 comma minus 1 whereas from here if I talk about the radius I already have it to be equal to 3 and from here if I get the radius that also I have it to be 3 because radius you know is given by under root g squared minus f squared g squared plus f squared minus c and that basically gives you the radii when you compare it with the standard equation of the circle once you have this you can see this is my c1 this is my c2 I can say this is my a1 and say this is my a2 then c1 c2 distance between the centers when you calculate by the distance formula you get root 37 right which is strictly greater than 3 plus 3 which is 6 which is nothing but a1 plus a2 so first case arrives that c1 c2 that is the distance between the centers is strictly greater than the sum of the radii that means i have two distinct real direct tangents and two distinct real transverse tangents which makes the number of common tangents to be four